McPherson is called to give evidence and is publicly identified as the Mr. Big of Sydney crime. He denies any connection to organised crime and even takes exception to the title. Oh, I don't know why it looked fair thing. I really don't know why they'd say that. Mr. Big, Mr. Big. Now, don't you know, Mr. Big enough. And then they say Mr. Little, a uh, 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 Mr. Big of little statue. All these things have over the years. And you just don't know what. How can you, what can you do? And he just lied and had this extraordinary attack of uh, amnesia. Uh, you know, just told absolute lies, made up stories as he went along. Freeman is also interrogated and gets his first major media coverage being portrayed as a dapper, smartly dressed racing identity. All my crimes are association. People know me, me knowing them. And if you want me to stop talking to people, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to talk to whoever I like. And, that, and I can't see why I can't do that. The Commission's most sensational revelation is McPherson's link to the Mafia. Some of the, the real top figures of the Mafia of the United States uh, came to Australia and they got involved with Lenny. McPherson's attempt to take over the big Sydney poker machine clubs has been foiled. The Moffat Commission, I think, was a very important milestone um, in Sydney's um, response to organised crime. It certainly broke down a number of uh, practices identified a number of people. Freeman has been exposed for his racetrack swindles. And Lenny McPherson has had his criminal activities laid bare. The publicity causes him to be shunned by his relatives. When he's not invited to his mother's 70th birthday party, he knocks on her door, holding a white rabbit. And uh, he says, hello, Mum, happy birthday. Did you have a nice party? Yes, she says, all the family was there. And he interrupted her and said, well, not quite all the family. I wasn't invited. And uh, she said, oh, well, then you know what it's like with the criminal stuff and all that. And with that, he wrenched the head off the rabbit and threw it on her front doormat. McPherson has no hesitation in trying to intimidate journalists who expose his crimes. Kevin Perkins is one of many to feel the force of the big man's displeasure. Uh, Lenny came charging into my office, bellowing and shouting and screaming and abuse and saying that he was going to knock my block off, etc. And he was a very uh, frightening sight, Lenny. He was a big, ugly man and very noisy and loud. And uh, it was about 12 o'clock and the editor and the sub-editors and the other reporters around the place all decided that it was an excellent time to go to lunch. After the Royal Commission's conclusion, it's business as usual for the New South Wales government and the police. I think it's fair to say that the uh, governments of the day certainly failed to follow up on the recommendations of the Commission and could have saved us a lot of pain later on. For Lenny McPherson and George Freeman, business also returns to normal with one important difference. Now, instead of their rivals being murdered publicly, they simply disappear. <laughs>